Police in Washington this morning using pepper spray and batons to clear protesters from the streets around Lafayette Park. Where last night, federal officers and an even larger group of demonstrators clashed. Without any warning, they came and started beating people, I mean, maliciously with batons. Protesters tying ropes around the statue of Andrew Jackson, trying and failing to topple the bronze monument to the nation's seventh president. Andrew Jackson was a slave owner. He was the opposite of sensitive to African Americans, and he committed terrible atrocities and violence against Native Americans in this country. The incident drawing the attention of President Trump, who said he would use a 2003 law to arrest and pursue harsh sentences for those caught damaging or destroying statues of veterans on federal property. They're bad people. They don't love our country. And they're not taking down our monuments. But across the country, in the wake of the killing of George Floyd, statues and monuments deemed racist by some are coming down by force or by government order. Demonstrators this week tearing down monuments to Confederate figures in Raleigh and a statue of Union General and President Ulysses S. Grant, the man who defeated the Confederacy, in San Francisco. In New York City, the Museum of Natural History says it will take down a statue of Teddy Roosevelt in the face of growing criticism over its depiction of black and Native American figures beneath the former president. These are monuments that don't represent for the people, it's representation of oppression. D.C. police are out in force. The protesters pushed back a full block from the Jackson statue and the White House. Police determined to avoid a repeat of the chaos we saw here last night. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.